All right, let's take a look at the next reason, reason number eight, why your hair is constantly dry. And that is the condition of your environment. So you can blame it on the environment this time around, meaning that it is actually not your fault. All right, so let's look at how your environment affects your hair. Okay, so, you know, depending on where you live, so I, um, I've lived, you know, in like, really cold, 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 cold part. So, you know, for someone who, you know, living in Canada, I know what it feels like to live in an extreme weather environment. And also I've lived in uh, Lagos, Nigeria. I've lived in so many places all over the world. So I know what it feels like to live in like an extreme weather condition, right? So, uh, so here's the thing, right? So extreme weather conditions can affect your hair, right? Because it affects your entire body, actually, right? It, it affects your metabolism. It affects your skin, your skin, your mood, your hair, pretty much everything, right? So meaning that your hair would also have a hard time responding to products and retaining moisture during, you know, harsh weather conditions, right? Meaning, you know, if it's too hot or if it's too cold. So here's the thing with hot weather, right? So when you're like, you know, in a really hot climate and you're, and let's say you work outdoors, so you're always out under the sun, right? And remember that your cuticle layers, they are very thin, very fine, uh, very fine and very thin so they can get you know easily f fried by the sun unfortunately you know there is no uh, sun blocking cream like a sunscreen or something for the hair even though shea butter works very well as like you know a natural sun blocking for our hair right so when your cuticles when they get fried and baked under the sun it's gonna weaken them right and eventually it's going to lead to cuticle degradation meaning that you're going to lose you know those massive layers of your cuticles and as a result of that you know um moisture evaporation will happen at a much faster rate meaning dry hair right so what can you do really right to minimize the effect right you can move obviously right so you can move to like a you know like a more cooler climate like in your country or something but obviously that's not always possible and and who's gonna move just because of the hair right <laughs> so yeah so if you live in a hot climate right uh, you can always protect your hair with like a silk scarf or a hat right to protect your hair from the harsh sun and uh, you can, and then when you come back home, when you come back home in the evening, you want to, you know, add some moisture back into your hair by moisturizing your hair. So now, and let's, let's go to the other side, the other extreme side, which is cold weather, right? So, uh, the cold weather, like we all know, like, you know, the, the air is very dry and, you know, it affects our skin, it affects our mood as well, you know, because in the winter time, for example, your skin, your lips, everything will feel so chapped and so dry, right? And this, the same thing happens with your hair as well, right? The same thing happens. So we all know by now that, you know, freezing temperatures are not favorable to our hair and especially natural hair especially because you know originally originally black people came from where we all came from africa right which is you know very you know it's it's hot it's very hot there right so hot and like some places you know not too hot like perfect weather but our hair isn't uh you know it's not built for like the freezing weather right and um so that's why for a lot of us, you know, we would do protective styling in the winter time to sort of, you know, protect our coils from that harsh weather condition, right? And um, also, you also want to up your moisturizing game as well in the winter time. And another thing you can also do, um, and another thing you can also do will be to buy like, um, what do you call it, um, a... Um, humidifier yeah like a humidifier or, or something that's gonna you know add moisture in the air 
like in your apartment in, a, in your house whatever so at least your hair and skin will stay you know soft and hydrated and moisturized during the long winter month right so what are some other things you can also do in the you know to sort of you know help your hair to stay moisturized again you can also move <laughs> You can also move, right? You can move to a much warmer climate. And as a matter of fact, at the time that I'm recording this um, lesson, I'm actually in Colombia. So I moved from Canada to Colombia. <laughs> and yeah, both my hair and skin are thanking me for it every single day. But obviously, that's not always possible. So um, to keep your hair healthy, moisturized, hydrated, in the winter time, what you can do again is you can wrap your hair up in a scarf or protect it with a hat you know with a certain lined hat you know so your hair will at least stay protected and you also want to avoid hydrating your hair before stepping out right because if you go out with with white hair right and especially if it's not covered if it's not protected or whatever you know like your hair can freeze and break off right and also you don't want to jump from like you know like the warm like from your warm apartment or your warm house like really cold outside right so you know so it's best to you know if you're gonna moisturize your hair moisturize it in the evening when you come back home right that is the best way to moisturize your hair right and um and also make sure you, you know you remember to moisturize your hair in between wash days right in between washes all right and one more thing that I would also recommend, right, for both, you know, extreme weather conditions, both hot and cold, would be to use oils, right? Use oils. So for me, um, I will use oils like uh, a lot in the winter time because, again, right, because you don't want to wet your hair, you know, before going out, right? So what I would do is because I've already moisturized my hair, let's say two days ago or like last night or whatever, but in the morning, like, if I want to, you know, change my style or whatever, I would use, you know, like castor oil, coconut oil or, or whatever to sort of lubricate my hair. And the reason for that is because, we you know, oils do not freeze, right? But water does, right? So that's why you never want to go out with, you know, wet hair. Or, and if you're going to moisturize your hair, do it, you know, in the evening or, or do it maybe two hours or so before going out and protect your hair with a hat or scarf or something, right? Before stepping out, right? So oils, uh, so when you oil your hair, right, um, it's going to keep more moisture in your hair and reduce it, uh, moisture evaporation, right? Because the oil will just sit on top of your hair, right? So it will protect your hair really, right, from the harsh weather conditions. And also oils will help you to reduce any frizz, tangles, breakage, and anything that might, you know, impede your hair from growing long and from staying healthy. All right, so back to you. Let me know in the comment section, how do you keep your hair moisturized during extreme weather conditions? So like, you know, if you're living in like in a really hot climate or like in a really cold climate, I mean, let me know how you keep your hair healthy and moisturized as well during these weather conditions. All right, I'll see you in the next lesson.